Welcome back to Philosophy in 60 Seconds-ish. What is metaphysics? Metaphysics, not to be confused with Metamucil, a popular digestive supplement, is the study of being qua being. That confusing statement is simply meant to say that the object of metaphysical study is being itself. Norris Clark offers a useful summary of metaphysics, so let's borrow from him. Metaphysics, Clark says, fits into the overall project of philosophy as its innermost ground, as that which focuses its inquiry explicitly on the vision of the whole. That is, what is common to all real beings and what constitutes their connectedness to the universe as a meaningful whole. It is the ultimate framework or horizon of inquiry into which all other investigations, including all the sciences, fit as partial perspectives. Its work will then be to try to discern the great universal properties, constitutive principles, and governing laws of all that is real. In a word, the laws of intelligibility of being as such, including how all real beings interrelate to form an intelligible whole that is a universe. And the term universe comes from the Latin universum, which means turned toward unity. This is the meaning of the ancient classical definition of metaphysics descending from Aristotle, the first to explicitly define metaphysics, namely that metaphysics is the study of being qua being or being as such. Spelled out, this means the study of all beings precisely insofar as they are real, which means for St. Thomas actually existed. It also includes the whole realm of mental beings of various kinds, such as possibles, abstractions, mathematical and logical entities, theoretical and imaginative constructions, etc., precisely insofar as their very being consists in their being thought about by the activity of real minds. Often, the best way to get a grasp of what some philosophical discipline is up to is simply to glimpse at the sort of questions philosophers in that field ask. So, for example, metaphysicians ask questions like, are there different modes of existence? Does everything exist in the mind, or do some things have existence outside the mind? Do only physical things exist? Does everything that exists change? Does everything that exists exist necessarily or contingently? Does the realm of possible existence outstrip the realm of actual existence?